morning children today i will teach you chapter 2 about microorganisms seems this chapter is very long so i will discuss some of the major points from this chapter let's start microorganisms the organisms which are too small to be seen without a microscope are called microorganisms these are classified into five major groups such as bacteria viruses protozoa a fungi and algae now i will discuss little bit briefly about this five groups here number 1 comes bacteria so these are very small single cell microorganisms which have cell walls but do not have an organized nucleus and other body parts they are found in air water and soil this is caused by them are cholera typhoid tuberculosis etc number 2 viruses these are the smallest microorganisms which can develop only inside the cells of other living organisms but when they are outside the living cells they behave as an non living thing this is caused by them are common cold measles influenza etc number 3 protozoa these are a group of single cell microorganisms which are classified as animals they are found in ponds lakes dirty water sea water and dam soil next algae these are a large group of simple plant like microorganisms which contain chlorophyll and produce food by photosynthesis some of the algae are unicellular like chlamydomonas and some are multicellular like globulin algae next fungi these are a large group of microorganisms which do not have chlorophyll and do not photosynthesize some of the examples of fungi are yeast molds penicillium etc this is caused by them are ringworm and athletes food okay children this much for today thank you